Hello everyone and welcome to a little video going over the release date of Total War Attila. So, the global release date for Total War Attila will be February the 17th, 2015 across all territories on both physical and digital platforms. So, I guess a few of you, or many of you, might be thinking that that is too soon, that they won't get the game done in time, and to an extent, I am kind of with you on that. However, Total War Tiller was probably in development, way in development, when Rome 2 was still being developed. I imagine they probably work on a couple of Total War games at a time. I've never been to the Creative Assembly offices, so I I wouldn't know. Uh, but that's just my two pennies on that, really. So I imagine Total War Tiller has been in development for at least a couple of years. And based on what's happened previously, such as kind of... I'd say the most prominent example would be Empire Total War and then Napoleon. Uh, Empire was buggy, <laughs> very buggy, and then they pretty much ironed out all of the... Um, all of the buggies? Buggies? All of the bugs? By the time Napoleon was released, I think it was a year to a year and a half later, and that kind of fits into the time frame of Total War Rome 2, because I think we can all agree Rome 2 had... Uh, a bad launch. <laughs> it was very buggy, uh, unoptimized. Um, yeah, that that's all you can really say about it. I never actually had many issues in terms of the AI doing anything derpy. Uh, I did have to lower my settings, which I didn't think I would need to for Rome 2. Um, but you know, after 16 patches, the game is, I think, polished to a standard that anyone would be happy playing a Total War game on. So I think Attila will be polished and it won't be bug free but it will be a lot more stable than Rome 2 when it's released. I think at least. I hope. From what I've played at EGX the actual the actual demo I played, the Siege of Londinium, did actually play really well, really nicely. So yeah. I'm thinking that February will be quite a good release date for Total War Attila because they're not forcing it out for Christmas. If they did, I think that would be a big mistake. Um, they've essentially got the lull after the Christmas sales in January or the Steam sales in kind of the end of December, January. So by the time February comes around, people will be thinking, hmm, maybe I've got time to play something else. I'll pick up Attila. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting Attila. I think that's kind of an obvious statement. Uh, my my channel is mainly Total War, so I'd be silly not to do that. So I will be probably doing maybe two, three campaigns. Hopefully, do a multiplayer one as well. I'm going all out for Attila. So yeah, go on to the pre-order bonus. The Viking Forefathers Culture Pack. They they're doing exactly the same as what they did with the Greek states. I'm sure if it was up to Creative Assembly. I'd imagine they might release it free. However, you know, they're owned by Sega. Sega needs to make money, and this isn't a way of doing it. It's kind of reminiscent, really, also, of the Mass Effect free day one DLC, which I hated. Uh, I, I, I pre-ordered the game. I got the collector's edition anyway, so I didn't have to worry about not having Javik. But he is such an integral part of the game. These factions... I wouldn't say they're, they're integral. Uh, they definitely will add a bit of variety to the game. So you've got the Norse factions. So the Danes, the Jutes and the Geats. Um so I mean it's priced at five ninety nine, seven Euros forty nine or seven ninety nine in dollars. It's you know it's still a lot, but that's the that seems the price that they seem to charge for these culture packs. So I mean if you pre order Attila, I'm pretty sure you've got a safer bet that it's not going to be as buggy as Rome 2. So you know your money might be better spent pre ordering Attila or, if you're still really unsure, hopefully the review embargoes will be lifted before the game releases, so you should still be able to pre-order it if you hear really good things in the reviews, so you can still get that faction free. Um, there is also the Total War Attila Special Edition, which contains the Attila the Hun biography, written by Nick Fields and published by renowned hist military history... My gosh, I'll just start that again. Written by Nick Fields and published by renowned military history specialists Osprey Publishing. 
This brand new Attila the Hun biography is based on the latest academic research and theories. And there's also a reference guide poster which contains the original Total War Attila campaign map of artwork and a comprehensive playable faction. And it also comes with the Viking Forefathers Culture Pack. So the special edition basically contains a book and a poster. I'm tempted to get it. It depends if it's going to be a whole lot more. If it's going to be like an extra 20 quid, then I, I, I would say, you know, just get the normal edition. Um, I wouldn't really spend an extra 20 quid. Maybe an extra tenner, ten pounds. That would definitely make it so I would want it. I do actually have all of the previous kind of collector's editions. Um, I th I'm not sure Rome had one. I, I if it did, I don't have the Rome one. I've got the Medieval 2. Uh, medieval kingdoms didn't have one. I've got the Empire one. I've got the Napoleon, Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai. And then I did pick up, <laughs> quite a bargain really, uh, I, I, I I got a digital copy of Rome 2 originally. Um, because of money constraints I, I had to cancel my pre-order for Rome 2 because I was travelling around Canada at the time of the collector's edition. But I actually managed to, on my birthday this year, I picked one up in game for £20. So what originally was, I think it was £130, I got for 20 which was a bargain. So, <laughs> yeah, I picked that up, gave the code to a friend because I didn't need it. So... Yeah, I would I would say if it's an extra tenner, pick it up. Because you know it'd be nice to have a little book and a poster. So apart from that, I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. Was the release date? Is it going to be a good idea to release it in February? I think overall, probably they do need to get their reputation for releasing a stable game sorted out. They can't. In my mind, the Creative Assembly can't afford another launch like Rome 2. The backlash that they've received was, you know, they're still they're still having to deal with today. So, yeah, good luck, Creative Assembly. Um, I will, of course, get involved however I can if I'm asked to do things in the lead up to the Attila release, uh, such as when they invited me down to EGX. That was an amazing day, so thank you, Creative Assembly, for inviting me to that. Hopefully... Fingers crossed, Total War Tiller is going to have a very good and smooth release. Can but hope. So, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll be interested to see what you guys think of the announcement and, and all the other announcements that went with it today. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this little chat type video. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a good day.